I don't have to tell you, it's great fun spending other people's money. The first time I went to New York for NBC was in 1972. And uh, there was a fellow over there at Burbank at NBC named Sid Graw, great guy who was in charge of the money. And he came to me, he said, Tom, we'd like you to go to New York for a week and do the news on the Today Show. Frank Blair is going to be on vacation. And how much expense money would you think you would have to have to go in there and, you know, cover yourself? I said, well, Sid, what do you normally give the guys and gals who go in there? And he said, uh, 500. I said, geez, I said, I, uh, I don't think 500 is going to cover it. He said, well, what would you need? I said, uh, 2,500. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he said, okay, and they gave me 25, uh, $2,500. I spent every quarter of it and more. <laughs> Cassie Mackin was still living then, God rest her soul, the legendary NBC News correspondent in Washington. I took her to dinner a couple of nights, and I mean, we had flowers, and we had the rides in the Hanson cab, uh, not just Cassie Mackin, but other people as well, the boys and girls of NBC News. And I spent all the money. And I got back to Burbank, and about a month later, Sid came in my office. He says, you know, he said, uh, we're going to have to settle up your expense account for the, uh, for the New York trip, the 2500 I said, oh, gee, Sid, I forgot to tell you. I was robbed when I was in New York. <laughs> he said, did they take the money? I said, no, no, they took the receipts. <laughs> so here, uh, over the past four years, are people and Tom in situations that no other host would ever show because they're so embarrassing. Take a look. Now, the movie on the airplane, which is where I started here, was the picture that he, he just made now with Helen Hunt. And he got the Best Actor Award uh, as hard as it gets, as good as it gets. Excuse me. <laughs> as, as, no, no, as good as it, come on, it slipped out. Come on. Now we have such a sweet and wonderful relationship. We are with Nora Dern, who's, or Laura Dern, who's... <laughs> I like Nora better, <laughs> Fine. actually. I'm glad you do. <laughs> or Lorna Doom. You could try, too. It's just <laughs> yeah. Now, the bad song book, and we're with Chuck Berry, my friends, came from... A, 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 uh, excuse me. <laughs> Dave Berry, my friends. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Let me ask you here about the high visibility that you and your husband, Tom Shanks, uh, have to endure. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I bring this How do you up. I know about his shank. <laughs> I beg your pardon? What? Huh? What, what did I say? Tom Shanks. Oh, Tom Hank, I'm sorry. <laughs> Reading about you this afternoon, you grew up both in Southern California and in Paris. Well, actually, no, my mother grew up in Paris. Like I said, you grew up in Southern California. <laughs> Now, your mom was a journalist, as I read. She, uh, she worked for a time for Vanity Fair magazine, right? Um, well, she actually worked for Harper's Bazaar. Harper's Bazaar. Yes, yeah, she was. <laughs> We're going to work this out, I'm sure. I doubt it. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, never, pet, uh, never sweat petty things and don't... Never sweat petty things and don't pet sweaty things. It was... <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> now, let me ask you here about this program with Paul Reiser and, and Holly Hunt. That and you, Helen Hunt. Uh, Helen Hunt that you direct. Mm -hmm. the, you, you got a character in here, Murray the dog. Uh -huh. And in a recent episode, Murray did something that I've never seen on television before. Well, it's interesting that you would bring that up. You yeah. know, uh, yesterday, I was watching the CBS... Sunday morning show? Yes. I like John Leonard, the critic. I think he's terrific. You yes. know, and, I and Jerry Stiller and Ann Mira were on. And I like them a lot. And they were talking about how it's only this late in their careers that they realize that what they do, that comedy, actually has dignity to it. Mm -hmm. That there is some dignity to their profession. And I sat there all day yesterday thinking, you know, this is an attitude that I should take to myself, is that I, what I do is only comedy, and it also has dignity. And last night, my Mad About You was on, and it was a very good show. Paul and Helen were wonderful. And one of the first calls I got was from John Pike. Oh, was, the, uh, the uh, senior vice president, yes. late night and off-network programming CBS, right. And John complimented me on the show, and he said, you know, David, it did just uh, the directing work was so good, he said, how did you get the dog to lick his balls like that? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so I thought, this is what... You know, John has a way of cutting right he, to the he chest. Does, he <laughs> yeah. does. Yeah. Now, the interesting... I was going to ask that question, but I wasn't going to use that word. Well, the, in the interesting thing is, this is what... Yeah, I was told that you weren't going to use that word. 
What, what used the... Oh, that year. Ball. That, the, yeah, that yeah. the ball was going to lick himself. Uh, yeah, lick himself. Yeah, right. I, I should have used... Yeah, yeah. But, but, it's, but basically, if the head of CBS could use the word with me on the telephone, Certainly. wouldn't it be hypocritical at 12.30 at night for me to alter that word for Jerry Falwell? Yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it would. Yeah, it would. <laughs> so, it was a very reasonable question mm -hmm. from John. Yes, it was. But it did destroy the dignity cloud that I was in all day. But we're all dying to hear the answer. The answer to how did I get the dog to do that? Yes. You know, as I told you beforehand, I was golfing one day with a companion, and on the 8th fairway there was a dog doing that to himself. And Mike said, gee, I wish I could do that. I said, pet him real nice, maybe he'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I actually... I, I, it's, a, uh, it's a theme show. <laughs> I actually saw the dog doing it. And yeah. so I said to the trainer, oh, that he could do it on cue. Mm -hmm. And the trainer said, well, that wouldn't be too difficult. And I said, well, okay, then uh, here's what I want you to do with the dog. Anyway, what they do is they put peanut butter on, <laughs> on the dog. I think that's what they do. So I said, yeah. wait, I don't want him to chew them off. I just want a little bit of a lick and then move on. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but this dog... Uh, uh, this dog was, uh, you know, this is, this is a great actor. They said do some dogs are actors. You know, one of the best lines about something like this, I, I don't know if you ever saw Catskills on Broadway. Oh, oh, oh Louise Duarte and... Yeah. Uh, and uh, Malzy Lawrence. Ma oh, Malzy Lawrence. Malzy Lawrence oh. had a line that, uh, that just kills me to this day. I, I, it was, he said, the food at the Catskills was so bad that the dog was licking his bottom to get the taste out of his mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. We're well, out of control right. here. Well, uh, this, this is... Uh, anyway, I don't, okay. don't want to dwell on this. No, no, nor, nor do I. Yeah. Nor do I. But, but that was as a director, it is one of the differences between me and Truffaut, <laughs> is that <laughs> I will take the time to ask a trainer... <laughs> Could we get the dog <laughs> to, to do, do that? that. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, may I thank you who have watched me and listened to me on radio and television for over 25 years in this country. Uh, you're great people to work for in this time period because you get it and because you understand it and because your, uh, your, your curiosity and your interest in things uh, surpass those of people who watch in other day parts. I am convinced of that. You know, you and I didn't get the greatest time period in the world. We got stuck with 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we don't get as big a crowd as they generate at 9 o'clock at night or at 1130. Uh, in my particular case, we haven't won this time period against the competition in the four years plus I've been here. But I think we've had a wonderful time together uh, having fun and learning things about ourselves and about the world.